Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the new MSD uh, ignition slash fuel controller for the Rhino 700. Uh, let me give you a couple, just a few words on it before we show you how to install it. The fuel controller from MSD, not like I said, not only controls ignition, it controls fuel. You're fully able to go in and program the ignition time in the way you want it. Uh, plus or minus uh, advance or, or retard below factory settings. You can go in and you can add up to 50% additional fuel or take away as much as 20% fuel. Okay, now the way that you buy this box or get this box from HunterWorks is as we go ahead and program in position, and I'll show you, zoom in here in a second. Uh, position number one, go ahead and select position number one. Uh, with our fuel curve in it. Now this fuel curve is for a uh, uh, basically stock uh, Rhino with maybe the addition of an air filter or exhaust tip on it, uh, not for the aftermarket exhaust. This is the curve we run in our race Rhino, runs great. We know it helps uh, as far as horsepower on a dyno, give you a little bit more quicker throttle response. Uh, there are 10 selectable curves here, uh, zero, um, a to nine are not programmable. They are selected uh, or pre-programmed by MSD and uh, a zero is like the default back basically stock if you will with an 8,000 RPM rev limiter. Uh, eight and nine have a reduced rev limiter so that you can switch it for kids to ride or a crazy brother-in-law as I always like to say so it doesn't go as fast. Um, anyway let me show you this little get you here we go maybe you can see this right here here's your selector switch take a little small screwdriver and turn it so uh, I personally like the MSD unit better out of everything we've uh, dealt with so far it's just been an ultra bulletproof unit and it really peps this Rhino up okay first thing I do is open up your hood you got these little uh, I don't know what you call them you screw them out pull them up pull them out of the batter box cover of course mine's nasty I ain't cleaned it up from the last race set your battery box cover to the side I usually set these right back in these holes to where we don't lose anything uh, then you remove the 10 millimeter bolt out of your uh, stock ECU mine's not tight I planned it that way take the nut off push the bolt out and bring the stock ECU up. Next, take the rubber strap off the battery. Lay this right here for a second. Unplug the stock ECU. Set it back down. Plug the large connector in the large connector. Take the harness from the uh, MSD unit plug it in to the stock ECU slide the stock ECU back in its spot bolt goes back in put your nut on I'm gonna tighten it up this time because I don't plan on taking mine back out set the ECU on top of the battery here, right down flat, take your rubber strap and go right over the top. Nothing touching the uh, positive post over here. I promise you I've jumped, done everything you could possibly think of and it's never moved. Okay. Put your battery box lid back on. And push those down. Guess what? You're done. Doesn't get any easier than that. Uh, like I said, if, if, if you don't want to do the programming, you have this uh, set up here, like I was talking about stock stuff. The way it comes out of the box from us, pre programmed uh, uh, with our tune in it, position one is already set to number one or should be. You better double check that. Uh, take a small screwdriver, turn it to one, and uh, 
plug it in and go have a blast if you guys have any really technical questions or any issues or want to know big difference give us a call here at hunter works be glad to help you out